Oh, will you? Get your hands off me. You want to go to jail? No, you'll be going to jail for criminal negligence. This man has a dislocated fracture of the femur, and he's going to lose his leg unless I fix it right away. Now, hold his torso down while I rotate his leg. What the hell are you talking about? There's no about? pulse behind the knee. He'll lose his leg to gangrene. I'm not moving this. Just hold it down. Woo! Look at that thing. Oh, thanks. I, An amazing I, voice. I, I, well, thanks. Is this your first time that you've done a musical singing? Yeah, of this scale. I was in, I, I'm from New Mexico, so I was in like uh, Albuquerque Civic Light Opera productions of Peter Pan and stuff like that. Right. Uh, but nothing of this scale. It's your first one as a grown up. As a grown up? Yeah. And you're all, you're all, how old are you? 24. 24? You're like a big guy. <laughs> Can you I, believe that, that that clip from the show is nine years ago? Time flies, eh? Now, the new look, they told you you had to get this new sort of... They told me I had to. Yeah, for the part, of course, for rent. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah look spiky you, hair, yeah. and I got nail polish on one hand. Isn't that cool? See? Look, I, at, that's me. That's you, right there. With the nail polish. See? Are you having a good time doing it? Ah, it's awesome. It's a terrific show. It's a, it's a wonderful music, music to be able to sing, and the... It's like an event. People are really moved by the show. It's, it's a beautiful thing. There are people who go back and back and back. Like, I, yeah. I see people uh, online on the computer who tell me they've seen Rent 45 times or something. Yeah, there's a guy that's seen it like 24 times, our show, alone. He's seen the Rent of other incarnations like, yeah, 50 times. Amazing, isn't it? But it's a show like that. People, it has great messages about life and it speaks sort of from and to this, this Generation X. It's it's wonderful. And you're in the L.A. company. Are you going to come to New York, you think? or? Um, I doubt it. No? No. We'd like to I'm, have I'm, you here. You know what? I'm physically just worn. It is very it's, it's tiring. It's like you're an athlete, much more than an actor. Because on, on this, you know, they powder you up and they make you look good. And if you're not in a, bad, in, in a good mood, you can sort of just, you know, get the energy up for an hour. But we have to jump around and sing and we have to rest our voices and my knees going out. And you have to stretch and eat, eat protein-filled food so that you have high energy. It's... That's what I did when I, when I did Broadway, Neil. <laughs> I did that for the first, like, three months. I was like, I have to stay in shape. I'm not you ate a lot of red fear. snapper. I had red snapper. I was feeling... By, like, the <laughs> sixth month intermission, I'm like a beer and a burger. <laughs> I can't do this anymore! It's hard! It's very tiring. It is, it is. It's draining. Now, I understand that you were a little hurt by me once. I was. Now, Neil, I do not believe you're remembering it correctly. Okay, let me just say. I'm a big Rosie O'Donnell fan, and was before the show even happened. All right, all so right. I saw. We were on David Letterman together. That's right. And it, it, you were first, and I was second, and I was, I was so excited to be able to meet Rosie O'Donnell. That'd be fun. And, uh, and so you did your little segment and left. You didn't say hello. You didn't, you didn't come, anything. You, you were busy. You had your little people that you had to meet and whatever. So then I was shafted once already. Then I went and saw you in Greece. You were very nice backstage. You took me back and we talked in your dressing room. I felt like I knew you, Rosie. Yeah, we were close. You told me a story that, you know, that, that people write you letters and they send you pictures and say you brought me up on stage and we did the dance and you kissed my cheek and I'm never going to wash my cheek again. Yeah. I thought that was so cute. So I went. I went into a little photo booth in the East Village and I took a picture of myself like this. Yeah. And I put it in a little thing and I wrote a little letter saying, Dear Miss O'Donnell, I think I said, dear Miss Rosie, I, you brought me up on stage and kissed my cheek and I'll, I'll never wash my face again. It's like a joke. And yeah. I brought it, walked it backstage to the theater and I was, left my number so that you could call and we could laugh about it because sure. we're chums now. You yeah. Know? Uh -huh. <laughs> Nothing. Well, now wait. I, I never don't... heard from you. I, I never got a response. Yes, Lisa. I'm, you must have sent it off to your little fan mail people. No, no, no. Now listen, I never received what I think happened, Neil. I walked it to the theater. The stage manager probably went like this. Probably went, I don't know who is that guy. I better check that there's nothing dangerous in here. Wacko, he thought. Yeah, because I Look at that photo. <laughs> Called security. You're probably on some FBI list right now. Probably. I never saw it. But I thought we were going to hang out. What are you doing after the show? <laughs> Hanging out with you? Want to have a burger or something? <laughs> At the fashion cafe? Woo the street? Let's what do you do think? it. Let's do it. <laughs> I love you, Neil. <laughs> Go see him in red, would you? Hey, tell us about your new movie quick. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Hey, 
I'm in this movie, Starship Troopers. It's a big uh, science fiction epic that Paul Verhoeven directed about a bunch of intergalactic kids that go and battle these bugs from another planet. It's in the future. It's really, really graphic, and the, the special effects are unbelievable, like nothing I've ever seen. And when does it open? It opens November 7th in two weeks. But on you Friday. can't really come back because you're doing rent in L.A. Indeed. So it's... we'll talk about it now. And yeah, on the day it opens, great. I'll show a clip in the oil. Please do. In the it's chuffle. unreal. I just saw it a few days ago, and I, I'm not in it very much. I, they do big battle scenes, and then I march in. I'm the intelligence division, and I say, I'm, I'm sorry that it had to be this way, that you all had to die, but maybe next time. And then I march <laughs> and off. And then you're out. But it's a good movie. <laughs> but it's a great movie. The effects are unreal. All right, we'll definitely really go great. see that Starship Troopers and Mr. Doogie see in Rent, would you? We'll be back right after this.